Hey folks, uh, this lesson is uh, part one of our review for our upcoming tests. So if you haven't found out yet, if you can find all your groovy math lessons at that cool website right there. So let's go ahead and factor these guys completely. Okay, remember your first step of factoring is to pull a GCF out. And these all end in zero, so we can pull a 10 out of all of those, okay? And then uh, some of our teachers teach guessing and checking with this guy. I don't, you guys. I do it what's called factoring by grouping. I call it smiley face factoring, and I multiply these two outer numbers together. 6 times negative 7 is negative 42. And then we think of other factors of negative 42 that add to be negative 19, and, and uh, 2 times negative 21. If we added these together, that would give us negative 19. So we'll rewrite this polynomial in here and replace this negative 19xy with 2xy minus 21xy. And then we factor this guy by the grouping method, okay? Factor by grouping. So we'll group these two together. Remember, if there's a negative here and we put parentheses around it, it's going to change that to a positive right there, okay? And then we GCF out of these two guys, we can pull a two out, and out of these two guys, we can pull a seven XY out, okay? So two times three gets me six, and, and two times XY gets me that right there. And then so we get three uh, plus XY, and then here we're also gonna get uh, three plus XY, because seven goes into 21 three times. And we pulled the XY out, and 7 goes into 7 once, and we pulled the XY out. We had X squared, Y squared, so we'll get another 3 plus XY. And then so we can pull this 3 plus XY out as 1, and we're left with the red stuff that tags along with it. Don't forget the GCF that we pulled out, so there's our answer right there, okay? All right, so let's try this one. Okay, so here we can GCF out a 3Y, and there's a difference of squares. So a difference of squares, you guys... See that right there? Now you don't have to write that step. You can recognize that they're perfect squares. And then we follow this pattern right here. When we have a difference of squares, it's the conjugate trick. So x plus y, x minus y. So that's 4x plus 3 and 4x minus 3. Again, don't forget your GCF that you pulled out. All right, let's try that with this one here. Okay, we can pull a 5 out of both of those and an XY. And when we do that, okay, 5 goes into 125 25 times. And we pulled an XY out, so we have X squared, Y squared left. And then this is going to be minus 4 right there, okay? Difference of squares again, okay? So we just follow this pattern right here. So that it's the conjugate trick. So there it is right there, okay? All right. So here we go. We can pull a, a MN out of all of those, all right? When we do that, and then we can... Now, the fact that this has a N in it and there is not a N squared right there, this can't factor anymore, okay? I do know that 24 times 5 is 120, and we can get factors of 120 that add to that, but we need an N squared right there to complete that N. So that's done, you guys. That's the answer. All right, how about this one, okay? So here, if it starts off with a leading coefficient of a negative, let's pull out a negative so we can make this leading coefficient positive. All right, so these all can be divisible by 7. So let's pull a negative 7 out, and we can pull an a to the 7th out. Okay, so when we do that, then negative 7 times 100 gets me negative 700, and this is going to be a squared, so 100a squared, perfect square. Okay, 7 times 6 is 42, so 7 times um, 60 is 420, but it's going to be negative right there. And we pulled out 7 a's out of 8 of them, so there's one left. And then 7 times uh, 9 gets me that, so it's going to be a plus 9 another perfect square. So this gets us a perfect square trinomial. When you have a perfect square trinomial where these are perfect squares, perfect square, perfect square, then it's a binomial squared. So can you see this is this squared and this is this squared? So this is going to be a binomial squared. This sign goes in the middle. So 10a goes in first, 3 goes second. It's your binomial right there. Okay, and you just got to mentally check, you guys. If we multiply these two guys together, 
get negative 30a. You have to double it. Double it because it's that 2 right there. So if we doubled it, gets us that. That's our answer right there. If it wasn't double, then we'd have to back out and say this was our answer right here. It has to be double. All right, so here we go. We can pull. I know 11 goes into that and that right there. So my guess is 11 goes into that. And it does 55 times right there. Okay, so 11 to, uh, when we pull 11 a cubed b out of 11 a cubed b, we're left with 1. When we pull 11 out of that, we're left with 2 a b, okay, because we pulled uh, a cubed b out. Okay, 11 goes into that 55 times, and we're left with a squared b squared. All right, so uh, this factors to, um, uh, since it ends in a squared b squared, we know it's going to end in a, b, and a, b right there. And 1 times 1, 1 times 1 gets us this. Then we just say factors of negative 15 that adds to negative 2 are negative 5 times a positive 3. So put uh, negative 5 in one and a positive 3 in the other, and that's it. All right, okay, here... All right, let's GCF out. I know we can pull a x cubed y cubed out of both of these, and since this starts off negative, we're going to pull a negative out. And I know 3 goes into that because 4 plus 8 is uh, 12. 3 goes into 12. 5 plus 8 plus 8 is 21. 3 goes into 21. And then uh, also 2 goes into both of those. So since 3 and 2 goes into both of these, 6 goes into these. Well, this is 6 times 8. That's not a perfect square. So let's do another multiple of 6. Let's try 12. Let's pull a negative 12 out. Negative 12 goes into both of these, okay? So negative 12 goes into this 4 times. Negative 12 goes into that 49 times. And perfect square, perfect square. So it's a minus sign, a difference of squares. So we're going to follow this pattern right here. So it's going to be 2 plus 7xy, 2 minus 7xy. Again, don't forget your GCF right there. Okay, so there's the answer right there, okay? All right, here's one more. Whoops, I guess there's no more. All right, so if you're in our class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.